After I've been working in finance for 10 years, I wanted to make a difference, to create a better and more inclusive world based on the individual strengths. To do something meaningful, but at the same time do business. And that's how I decided to start Unicus. Unicus is an IT company that only employs people with autism. We do software development services, uh, we do data science services, and we also do software testing. Our clients include companies like DMB, Equinor, SEB, H&M, and Nordea, different clients within different industries. My name is Jan Christian, and I'm a consultant at Unicus. Asperger's syndrome is a neurological condition which um, makes us uh, maybe think and feel a li little bit different than others. And this can manifest in a number of different ways. Some of the common traits would be that um, very narrow, intense interest maybe, and um, often being kind of introvert. Some are sensitive to sounds, light, um, picky eaters, and many, many other things. What do you think? Is the code ready to be submitted? Oh, okay. I had wondered for uh, several years before that if there was something wrong with me, because I felt that I was a little bit different than other people, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I believe I was nine and a half years old uh, when my father had a computer and he, he told me to, to try to type in a program he had and see what happens. So I did that and I had no idea what, uh, what the code meant, but uh, I got very curious to see, uh, to find out, you know, I was typing this, this inc incomprehensible things and something happened and I got very curious how, how that could be, so I, I started to to figure out about programming already at that age. I actually have a PhD in mathematics from the University of Oxford. And um, when I was studying, I wasn't particularly concerned about getting a job. I thought if I have a degree from Oxford, the world would be at my feet, so to speak. But what I found when I went to job interviews was that they were very often more interested in personal traits like being uh, outgoing, being uh, uh, being um, motivating people, uh, cooperating people, basically salesman type of people. And um, I'm not really that, that kind of person, so I found it uh, difficult to find a job despite having this indication. My name is uh, Guru Rangstad. I work for DNB and um, I'm responsible for IT banking services. DNB is the largest financial services group in Norway and also in the Nordics. DNB chose to work with Unicus because they are a niche player within the field testing and quality assurance. Jan Christian has been working for DNB as a consultant for a few years. His advantage is that he has the capability to really dig deep down in the complex algorithms and also analyze huge volume of data. If you read about Asperger's in a textbook, you will often get the impression that um, they don't want to have any contact with other people at all and just sit in a corner and memorize train schedules or something like that. That's not really true for, uh, for most of us. Um, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. So if you think you know one person with Asperger's, you know one. And you don't know all of them. For me it's important to take care of them and interact with them, um, taking into account their personality in the same way as I do with other colleagues.
Over the last 10 years, we have been supporting Unicus with the combination of financial and non-financial support uh, following the venture philanthropy approach. My name is Espen Do and I work in business development at Ferd Social Entrepreneurs. Initially, we gave them a grant, uh, paid out in tranches, uh, upon achieving certain milestones, both social and financial. We uh, added uh, non-financial support and helped them achieve their specific uh, goals. We helped them um, build their management team, we helped them with corporate governance and a lot of these things. After three years of providing a combination of financial and non-financial support, Unicus was profitable and had a stable customer base in 2013. From then on, we provided non-financial support over a period of, of three years and Unicus was, was growing steadily and, uh, and developing extremely well. The financial support that we received from Farid was very important to us, of course. Uh, but the non-financial support was uh, also extremely important and maybe even more important uh, during the phases that we went through. In 2016, Lars and Unicus came to us again and asked for support in scaling the company to take them further on their journey. So we invested um, in the company, became shareholders and embarked on an on a impact journey with them uh, outside of Norway. We felt that we had to tailor our investment to meet the needs of Unicus. And for us to make an equity investment uh, at this stage was, was new. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, That's perfect. Looking forward to it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming, Aspen. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Third Social Entrepreneur is an investor for impact because we focus on the social issue that the social entrepreneurs are out there to solve and that's where our heart is. We want to help them solve those issues and also to scale the social effect that they are producing. And to us the venture philanthropy is about doing that and that is combining business with social effects. So we try to do that and provide the entrepreneurs with both financial support and non-financial support in doing that. And a big part of the non-financial support is to give them our competence on how to build business, but also on how you work with impact management. Without FAD, we wouldn't have been what we are today. We wouldn't have been in Sweden, we wouldn't have been in Finland, and we would not have been as many consultants as we are today. So they have been really important for us to, to help us grow and uh, to be able to share risk and also to contribute to develop the company. And it is about a relation that you build with an entrepreneur and the trust you build along the way to listen both ways on, on different advices and, and where we want to go and what ambitions we have. The thing I'm most proud of with Unicus is that we've been able to prove that people with autism can make a real difference and create a highly valuable service and perform services better than other companies actually. Working with Unicus uh, is for me just like working with other people. They have their own specialities like other employees. Unicus is clear proof that we can all be valuable resources in the society no matter what the background we have. We all have our strengths and weaknesses and for the sake of other people with Asperger's I hope that um, other employers can uh, see the strengths like Unicus does.